I'm joined this evening. No, they, they can hear you now. Matt. Start, start again. Start again. Start again. Okay. <laughs> right. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> are we? Are we good? Sound can't hear. Sound. I mean, there we go. All right. Brilliant. Okay. All right. Um, well, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. This is the Glossop Line preview stream, and so we've got some uh, fantastic new upcoming content to show you. I'm joined here by Matt Peddlesden. Hello. <laughs> um, our executive producer on the route, and I am just a humble community manager. Um, so yes, we've got some amazing things to show you. Uh, I want to go through first and say that there isn't actually a uh, pre-order pre for Glossop Line. So it releases on June 27th for £20, for $24, um, or for €25, Euros. Um, £24.99, £24.99 respectively. And uh, there will be a loyalty discount though. So you can check out more information on our Glossop Line Coming Soon article on our roadmap, on our forums. Um, but it varies between different platforms, but generally it's a 10% discount if you own Bromium Cross City or a 10% discount for PlayStation Plus members. And uh, on Epic Games Store, it's just a 10% discount. So yeah, you can find all the information on that all in our articles. But, um, but yeah, it's a fantastic uh, value route. 21 kilometers, 13 miles. We're ready to show you it all. Are we ready, Matt? Oh yes, we're definitely ready. Right, then uh, let's, let's daddle no longer and let's get into some lovely gameplay. Right, so let's get started. Let's have a quick look. So scenarios, we have waterworks. Um, hope everyone can hear me okay. Let me move the microphone into a slightly more visually annoying but audibly more <laughs> useful place. Um, so waterworks scenario uh, where there's a big leak um, and uh, that's quite fun. It's modeled on a real world event. Uh, three point turn. Um, must admit, I can't remember what's involved in Three Point Turn. I'm assuming Dinton's probably Dinton's probably going to be involved. Uh, Gossip Line is the photography one. We're going to run that little bit of that so you can see what that mechanic looks like. Depot delivery um, is, you know, I'm going to leave you to imagination on that one. Probably figure it out. Um, are you local? Uh, is oh, it's, it's basically the idea is stopping some stations that don't normally get stopped at. Uh, and then on guard is the guard service uh, the, where you're a conductor. And uh, we'll hold up, Matt, we might not be able to see gameplay if you're showing it. No, <laughs> I thought we were just doing a bit of a podcast, though. We're, we're, yeah, we'll just know. do a podcast. Yeah, let's just do a podcast. <laughs> there you go, scenarios. You know, you know, you've seen what scenarios look like. Okay, what works? Three point turn, gossip line, depot delivery. Are you local and on guard? And got um, so we're going to run a little bit of uh, gossip line, the photography one, and we're going to run a little bit of on guard um, so that you can uh, you can see. Um, good. I'm just checking. It looks like yeah, you can see audio as well. Excellent. <clears throat> you, anyone would think that um, I, we haven't streamed in a while, or I haven't anyway. Right. Okay. So to go back here. Let's have a look at the timetable. Um, so I've got. I think everything the only thing I don't have installed actually is the Spirit of Steam. So there is a layer for Spirit of Steam uh, rail tours. Um so the yeah that's that's missing from here but otherwise than that this is all present. So you have got 323 the East Midlands trains 158 uh from Midland Mainline, the class 20 from Darlington, the 40 from the heavy freight pack, the 66, I'm not entirely sure which 66 that is out of the 8000 of them that we've got. Um and then there's the 375 um from darlington i think as well um i think these are rail tours if i remember rightly some of these older ones um so uh, but there is some freight on here as well so if i just have a look at uh, 66 you can see there's there's um some freight services um well that's rail it must be yeah there's there's, there's I think there's rail hit treatment train services as well um so what we've got on the 40 you've got uh, some rail tour stuff going on there uh 20 i think probably the same oh, no, it's, it's less of them there's two of the services on that one the 158 i think has just the one service the rest of them are all ai uh, i think that one's an ecs if i remember rightly uh and then obviously we've got the the meat of the uh, of the service mode which is here in the uh, in the 323 lots and lots and lots and lots training wise there's obviously the one tutorial then for the uh, the 323 um okay what service were we going to run? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I wrote it down. It's 2G06. Here it is. 2G06 uh, we're do the part, two as well. part one. So there's most of these services are split into three parts. So Manchester to Glossop, Glossop to Hadfield, Hadfield to Manchester. Um, 
<clears throat> uh, I think some of them might go via Hadfield, then Glossop. But we're going to do the first part and the second part. We'll not do the return journey tonight uh, because you'll have seen it all. Uh, but that way you'll have seen everything on the route that there is to see. I'm going to pop a bit of clouds on. I'm going to change it to custom weather and put it in June. And a little bit of cloud there just so that, well, if it turns foggy, it's no use to anyone, is it? Uh, there is a route worry. intro, actually. Yes, oh. there is a route intro. Good shout. We'll also show some of the um, guard mode, some of the photography mode, as well as uh, the gossip line mode, that is. And, uh, and we'll show the route a little bit of night time on as well, uh, more towards the end of the stream. There's Manchester. Lovely northern livery. I do like the 323. It's one of the reasons we wanted to make the route um, was to uh, because it was one of the few other places that you can use this train and it's been received so well and there's, there's a lot of functionality in the train so it was uh, good to find another place to use it as well as obviously having a, uh, a nice shiny new train operator. That's the 323. You've got... Uh, Bunch of trains going on in here. Let me just change to the eight camera so we can have a look around Manchester Piccadilly. It's an absolutely enormous station. It is, it is. <clears throat> AI trains. Um team have put a lot of effort into putting as many AI trains, even if they're not drivable, in so that uh, things are uh, as busy as possible. And just oh, for reference, I believe there. this is one of 14 stations across the routes, if I've got my maths correct. Yep. Uh, 14? I can't remember. Something like that. So this is uh, Manchester here, just looking at the map. I think it's Ashbury's. Got a yard over here, <clears throat> uh, and we'll come back to some cool stuff in that yard in a little while. Uh, guide bridge is over here. This freight terminal is accessible, and the railhead treatment train lives up here as well. Um, lots of stations along the way to Dinting, uh, and then you've got Hadfield, and you've got Glossop. Right, it's time to go. <clears throat> what we got here? Two G O six registered. <clears throat> so I suppose my a, a good way to kind of start off a stream usually and, and introduce a route is to also talk a little bit about why this route, why did we choose to do gloss up now? Um, and what are, what are some of the things that you like most about the route? So, um, as I mentioned earlier, it was uh, one of the, one, two, a couple of the factors were the new operator um, and um, the, uh, the ability to reuse the, uh, this train, which had so much work put into it. Um, the, <clears throat> I mean, in addition to that, we know that well, look, East Midlands 158 rolling in over there. Uh, we know that not everybody has got the uh, time for big routes and uh, actually sometimes smaller routes are uh, more um, accessible for people to look at um, and get out of. I mean, it's, it's uh, to do the full run, I think you're uh, out and back, you're looking at a little over an hour and 10, hour and 20 minutes. Um, but it, and the run one way is about 30 minutes. So you can finish something. <clears throat> so think of it more like a Cathcart size project, Cathcart circle project, uh, in terms of the time it takes to, uh, to do, to actually finish something. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a diff different part of the country. It's, um, <clears throat> it's not down south. It's uh, something up north. It's overhead powered uh, and uh, just provides some contrast to what we've already got. Now, it's still an EMU, of course, but it's, um, it's definitely uh, a, bit, a little bit different. And uh, it's good to return to Manchester. Obviously, did Manchester in the 80s. Um, uh, in yeah, 1983 was when Northern Trans Pennine was set. That was Manchester, Victoria. Uh, and actually, interestingly, um, 
the modern day Northern Trans Pennine services actually come from Piccadilly down across here at Guidebridge. They turn up and then up here is where they rejoin up at Stally Bridge, is about there somewhere, um, going up to the, up the hill. So um, this sort of links into the way the old route, but obviously that was in the 80s, this is modern day. So it meant we could bring that <coughs> that new operator in and uh, and sort of spread things out a little bit. So it's, uh, it's, it's good. And, and I guess the last thing is the... Um, the um, this route is is fairly iconic in rail history, um, being the originally what was the Woodhead Line. Um, so, just I'm stopping him. One point zero point eight. This is not my stop. Then good. Um, <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so it used to be the Woodhead Line. Um, the uh, the Woodhead Line effectively carried on up that way, um, and uh, so it's quite a historic railway. So it's good to uh, good to recreate it. Different area, different experience. And it also meant the team could be challenged, um, and they really, really enjoyed the challenge of coming up with some interesting gameplay to fit on it. Oh, yeah, safety systems, good shot. Done. <coughs> I'm sure that won't cause any problems later on. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much um, it's kind of the uh, uh, the main sort of uh, drivers to uh, to looking at uh, a route like this. So, 700 yards as we're coming up to Ashbury's. Uh, Guy Bridge used to Is be quite a lot bigger, actually. Um, uh, Atlantic Jet. If you, uh, for those of you familiar with Woodhead Line, either of its incarnations on Train Sim Classic, because um, the, there's two versions of it there, an older representation and a BR Blue representation, um, you'll see just how different Guy Bridge is. In fact, this whole area. The game Matt, do you want to play, can I get you to turn the in uh, in game audio up a yeah. little bit? <clears throat> Lovely. Let us know if the audio is uh, is good in the chat, of course, once we've adjusted it more. It was sounding a bit quiet in my head zone. We're hearing it's much better. <clears throat> Right, so this is Ashbury's. Door open. And Liam, yes, this is a Northern Trains 323. Um, the one on the West, West Midlands is the, uh, is the West Midlands. Next stop is Guidebridge. <clears throat> uh, TC Mark, yes, this is pretty much the final version. There's still some ongoing testing going on, um, but uh, um, unless anything urgent comes up, this is the final version. Side so you can see the scenery. I'm seeing a couple of mentions of um, VSync and screen tearing. Matt, I wonder, do we usually have VSync turned on? It should be. But it's not. There we go. God, you, you think we do weekly streams? <laughs> Thank you. I think I spent an hour resetting all of this up. I don't know what happened to it all, but... Can we get an open of the cab window as well?
So this is interesting because um, this route um, used to be bigger and more complex. Um, and the th remember rightly, there was extra tracks, another two tracks going on this side of the bridges as well. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of where the railway used to be. Uh, so when, when will the, this be released is uh, an easy question to answer. This is coming out on June 27th. Uh, across all platforms, they may have different times. I believe consoles will be in the morning at about 10 a.m. BST, and, uh, and Steam will be at about 6 p.m. BST. So June 27th, mark the calendars. That's when Gossip Line is released. one either. Keep it going. 1.4 miles now to Guide Bridge. Is that was that Fairfield we just passed through? It was. It was. Yeah, look at that, I remember that Ooh, without checking my map. You were local. I am not. Uh, I've just done my research. <laughs> um, I think the most local one we've got in game was the. It was actually Spirit Steam. It goes right through uh, from Liverpool to Crew, and I'm, Crew is my local big station. So that's uh, that's me. I wish it came to Whitchurch, but it doesn't. Uh, will you be able to pre-order Glossop? So we don't. We don't actually have a pre-order on Glossop, so there isn't. Um, you can't pre-order it yet until it releases. But there will be a loyalty discount, so you can still make use of a 10% discount when it does release on uh, June 27th. Right, not far out of Guy Bridge now, we've got a speed reduction coming up. <clears throat> Which I'm just about down for now anyway. Uh, the Wangster, uh, you're saying, how much is it on Xbox in the US? Well, it should be $24.99, um, but Xbox has a 10% loyalty discount, so if you own Birmingham Cross City, that should be 10% off. So I believe it takes it to $22.50. Uh, That's on the fly. Let's hope it's right. <laughs> Yeah, coming into Guybridge now. Still a fair bit of a, uh, a junction. There's plenty going on here, but uh, nowhere near as much as there used to be. Back in the golden days, when railways were railways. That's a good point, Matt. Would there be a service that stops at every station? I know the one we're running right now It isn't actually stopping at every single one, but will there be some that, that do? I actually am not sure what the stopping patterns are on this one. That's something we have to get uh, some info from the gameplay <coughs> team on. <coughs> oh dear, oh dear. Flowery Field. Let's have a quick look around Guy Bridge. Freight yard up there. A question in chat who names these stations? Uh, I don't really know, I guess. They're just um, no idea. how are stations named? I don't know, I can't be honest. I mean, usually it's just the local area that it's in. Um, it's an interesting question. I wonder if anyone in the chat does know. There better be flowers here, therefore. <laughs> 
you'll probably find it's, it's like gravelly on BCC or gravelly hill which is named because it is on a gravelly hill you know normally the names are fairly predictably why even if it's not why you know the why isn't relative today it's based on when it was named I mean I guess it stays in your mind that way it's like the big gravelly hill yeah that's, uh, that's it that's the place North Hyde. Have <clears throat> I taken any benalin from my cough? No. It's, my throat is just... I had dinner not long ago and my throat is just a bit... So I've got a glass of water here. It'll be finished, fixed up, you know, just as we finish the stream probably. Besides, I'm not used to talking like this either. <clears throat> Need to get back into doing it, more streams. Well, we've been we've been guzzling through water the last few days because it's been absolutely boiling and stuffy and humid. I'm assuming a lot of people in uh, if they're from the UK in the chat, you've been feeling the same. It's lovely, isn't it though? Oh, this is a collectible. Ah, the bee flower pots. Obviously, bees being so relative, rel it's somewhat relevant to Manchester. Cause the so we decided to make bee flower pots. Another collectible there. I like this wooden walkway. Can't imagine it's great in the in the ice, but. More than just a oh, car, it's also in red. We, we can show a screenshot of the uh, mastery collectible as well. Uh, yeah. Alongside the collectibles. No. That's the that's the mastery collectible. Now, you you, I'm going to leave this one. You know, we're going to get back to it, and uh, we're going to uh, let you uh, um, have a, uh, a think about what that is. Bit of a guessing game. Put your suggestions in the chat. I'll keep an eye on them. We'll keep an eye on who gets it right first. Is, Is it, it a DeLorean? DeLorean? Yes. Nice. Winner. <laughs> oh, no. I it, now I wish it was. Yes, indeed. It's a Class 76. <clears throat> Newton for Hyde. You can see the general. Um, we quite quickly change from the sort of the uh, the city scenery to being a little bit uh, a bit more um, rural out here now, and it gets very much more treesy as we go. Does that mean that loco is coming to the game? No. I'd love for it to, but no plans at this point. Oh, can you uh, have a peek at the passenger interior of the 323? Yep. Once I get over this, well, we were looking at the passenger interior for a whole uh, for for the uh, on guard scenario in detail. Oh yes. In that case, then, uh, SimWorld Life, hang around. We're going to be doing some uh, guard scenario uh, towards the end of the stream in maybe about 30, 40 minutes or so. Um, so that's when you'll be able to see more of the interior. Uh, Ego Drio, we'll get you a list on the forums exactly what the layers are. I can't remember what they are, but um, uh, there's definitely stock from, um, I know that's obviously in the class 20, the 37 from T's, 158 from Midland Mainline, um, and so forth. So I don't have everything installed on here, but we'll get a list to post it on the forum so as to what does what. There is some freight as well, I think. Godly. You'd think the station before or after it would be cleanly, surely. 
Surely, but unfortunately we have assorted naming conventions such as Fairfield, Flowery Field, Hyde <laughs> Bridge. Just waiting Gravel to see if Hill. anyone got that. I'm waiting for the groans. How is it you can never keep to a timetable? I am not even remotely trying to keep to the timetable. I'm trying to show you the route. <clears throat> when I drive it on my own, I keep to the timetable fine because I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. But I'm trying to answer your questions as well. And if I miss stations and break everything, then we have to stop and we don't get to see everything. If you'd like to see that on a stream, though, tune into one of the ones where I'm where I'm driving, and you get plenty of that. Lots of these wooden platforms, wooden bits and pieces on the platforms everywhere. Have to lock the doors again. A brock, Probably you think, reused is that, is brock. That... I don't know. I don't know if it's reused or not. I think the team like to make one or two new ones, but um, a lot of it is reused stuff from previous routes. It's sort of gradually I, growing the whole library as the, with each new route. I think I was told the the originally there wasn't any graffiti there, but after enough time, I think the AI just the NPCs just, just started putting it there. We don't know why. Definitely a true story. <laughs> Developer insight. One oh one. NPC GPT. <laughs> Uh, the route is 13 miles, four hours. 13 miles, 21 kilometers, and 14 stations. Hattersley next. So Alexander, fun fact, you can't add any more stock to this route because it doesn't fit. I remember when Joe was working on the timetable, um, when he was trying to add rail tours in, he said the um, because of the, the way that the, the line works, it is pretty much packed um, without <clears throat> having, uh, it's running the full timetable for the trains that run up and down here, at least on this section obviously, there's, there's more trains um, on the Rose Hill section earlier on. Um, but, um, yeah, for this section, it's pretty much running to maximum because of the, the single track and the Y at the other end kind of limits the capacity. That's very interesting. This is absolutely jam-packed. It's as full as it can be. Yeah, without causing it, without the trains ending up in a massive queue. Hey, you caught me off guard. I don't think I've been called Alexander in, like, 19 years. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to become a thing now. Cool. I'm going to make sure that we do that all the time now, Alexander. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Am I allowed in return to call you Matthew, then? I suppose. Feel free. <laughs> you join me. I've, I've been called far worse. <clears throat> Alexander the Great. See, there you go. Dalek's got it. Uh, it's all good. It's my, my surname's Gate, so we'll just we'll just go with that. Around to the nearest. Alexander the Gate. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, we got a call for the the horn. Of a, we yep, just had a, I blew the horn. Team. Lovely. See that red light that's coming up? That's related to the uh, the uh, the bottleneck at the end of the line. We will see the train that I think that's hanging around on the other end shortly. The 
didn't even try it. We should get a good shot of the, the viaduct as we go past, is that yep. correct? There's two viaducts we go over. Um, there's the one just the other side of Broad Bottom, and then there's the one just next to Dinting. They're pretty well next to each other. Is there a 10 and 10? Well, you'll be lucky to know that there is one coming up <laughs> soon enough. There yes, we, do, we do have a 10 and 10. And uh, is there going to be a showing of guard mode? Yes, so the, the lineup is we're going to finish this service off. We're then going to do part two of the service around the, 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 the Dinting Triangle and around the kind of bottleneck we're uh, approaching at the moment. We're going to throw the 10 and 10 on and then we're going to dive into some of the unique gameplay scenarios. So we've got the gossip scenario, which is taking photos and you can see them in the station. Um, and we're going to, we've got the on guard, the, uh, the, the guard mode scenario as well. Uh, and a little bit of nighttime as well. So you've still got loads of content to see and uh, the scenarios are really fun. So I'm looking forward to showing those off. <clears throat> Right, next station is Ninting. Uh, Rare, don't worry, the stream is fully viewable uh, after it has gone live. If you head to our YouTube channel, you can just click the live tab. It doesn't appear on the normal video selection you usually get. But if you click on the live, you can see all of our past streams. Uh, and I believe we do keep them on Twitch, but it's usually easier to rewatch on them on YouTube. So yeah, don't worry if you have to hop away. We'll be here when you get back in the future. Is Matt driving the train? Yes, because otherwise I would have probably derailed somehow. The viaduct. Here we are. This is the first one. So it's all it's all very treesy at this point. There comes the uh, the train, the other the other train. Uh, Jess, I'd love to shorten some of our previous streams into like little clips and sections. Um, I don't think we, we usually do that on a social, but we do actually have another social um, media uh, team member joining us. So maybe we can do some more fun things with our preview streams on social soon. So we'll be coming up to the um, bit where it congests down to a single track. That's the warning for the drop to 40 miles per hour and the fact that um, I think actually it's because shortly after the 40, yeah, you see the speed limits drop considerably here because of the, um, the single track. Here's your fixed distance. Feather telling us it's switching over. <clears throat> I think we've had Jason confirm as well that there there isn't a service that stops at every stop. So if you want to try all the different combination stops, you're gonna have to play multiple services. 
I think that was one of the reasons for that other scenario where it says it's the, the, the lo are you local, I think it is. The idea being to try to stop at some of the other stations which haven't been looked at yet by the services. The reason for the feather is, is because we're going to gloss up, not Hatfield. Is this the is this the triangle point? Is this yep. the the split off? Yep. yep. This is the the the, the, the Y at Dinting. Don't worry about the delay. We told the NPCs it's a special stream, so they're they're all fine. We gave them an NPC some jetpacks to play with while they were waiting. <laughs> this side so let's take a look while we're here free cam is pressing the number eight key Natimo if you're on a console then you press the camera shift which is holding the right stick down and then I think it's one of the left or the right D-pads will cycle cameras, and the external was one of the ones on the external cameras. Right, and then dinting down to Glossop. Yes, there is a really nice cab ride of this line actually on uh, on YouTube. If you want to take a look at it. D-pad left is for interiors, and that goes D-pad right for your exteriors. Then, why does vigilance sound when the train is stopped? Because I'm not putting the reverser in neutral. The driver vigilance device on the 323 is tied to the reverser being forwards or neutral. Some are tied to speed, but the 323 isn't. It's tied to just reverse position. this bit. The uh, sparks will work, yes. Uh, better it's seen in the rain. Yet, J7E enjoy it. We have still got 900 yards to go. On a TPWS route with a red light and a buffer stop coming up. There's our fixed distance. Yeah, you can't really fail this stop. Well, you can fail this stop, but um, I guess it's the end of the game regardless at that point.
buffer stops lie here. <clears throat> what a fixed distance signal means. They're the same as a distance signal in semaphore terms. It's just that they will never do anything other than the, position, than the horizontal position. So they're a permanent caution, essentially. But there is a reminder to drivers, essentially. If you imagine the in steam the steam routes like um, Peak Forest and Crew, where you've got the yellow signal, which can either be on or off depending on what's going on up ahead. Um, in this instance, a fixed distance is literally just a distance that will never move. So they just put a board down rather than putting a signal in and making it a, a signal that will not move. <clears throat> That's Glossop. Well, yeah, this is Glossop. It is Glossop. You couldn't get any closer. I could, but knowing me, I'd be the other side of the buffers. <laughs> we'll continue Look at that. that performance. I know. Outstanding. What we'll do is just return because we're going to do the next service is just carrying on with this one. So, <clears throat> right, first thing I'm going to do is I uh, am break off cabs out tail lights on headlights off that will do uh, actually let's disable the safety systems as well excuse me folks <laughs> running through I'd be terrified if someone ran through the train at this speed <laughs> So, out, out of my chair, please. Thank you. <laughs> right, key in forwards. Let's uh, all lights off, day headlights, safety systems on, and away we go. Usually, this service does end at Glossa, but we've decided to pick it back oh, this up. This is the next service. This is just the next service. I've just rolled straight onto the next service. You can go back to the menu and pick it, but or you could just uh, carry on. So this is a three-part service, essentially done as three services, so that you, oh, um, so that you can. Um, I mean, the real train would go to Glossop, and then on its schedule would then go back to Hadfield, and then it would go back to Manchester, and that's a complete service return run. But the way TSW is designed, you can just freeform from one service to the next rather than having to go back to the menu. Yeah, it, just, it saves breaking the immersion, really. You don't want to head <clears> to yeah. a menu every time. You just, you just, get, you just shove someone else out of the seat. <laughs> what we wanted to do was, uh, was to show you, we're not going to go back to Manchester because you've seen that bit now, but we wanted to just run around over to Hadfield so that you've seen essentially then the entire route. Yes, more man. Yeah, so they're, they're kind of two part services essentially. When you look at the service list itself, you'll see quite a lot of part ones and part twos. Oh, they're two part services. So more one, okay. They go back to Glossop again and then back to Manchester. That fixed distance because we're approaching Denting Triangle. <clears throat> a full run on the route, uh, Bezdelnik. It's it's about half an hour for the main line trunks, about seven minutes for a uh, a mid. So you're looking at about thirty, thirty-five minutes times two plus about seven minutes times two i'll let someone else do the maths on that but i'm going to say about an hour and 20 hour and 30 minutes It's 
slowing down for dinting. <clears throat> yeah, the triangle is pretty slow, which is one of the reasons it's been split up, so that if you just want to do the faster mainline runs, then you can do that as well. I wouldn't know why they did it this way, Thelonious. I can only assume there was a reason. Um, as in reality, this is based on the real timetable. Yeah, as um, Red Leader says, I presume it's to provide a service between Glossop and Hadfield. <clears throat> I mean, I believe we had a we had a tri station at the top of Midland Main Line, but that wasn't a full triangle. It was more just a Y, yeah, a Y cut. <clears throat> it seemed to set itself today. Um, Western train spotter, but it's supposed to be on, a, on equivalent or set up the same as the one on the BCC 323. <clears throat> so I don't know why it set itself up. I'll find out. Right. Hey everyone waiting to see if we're going to do a showcasing of the guard scenario that's coming up very soon. Total Trash 7, what other trains are compatible? So what we'll do is I'll I'll get a list and get Alex to post it on the forums. I don't have on the top of my head know what the uh, the exact um, uh, layers that are set up are. So get you a list and we'll post it on so that it's right rather than me just guessing. Because I'll probably be about 75% right. I've, Unless, I've got that list. I've, you've got that list, got that list, got that list, list have you? On me now? Yes. Uh, it. Spacing it in the chat. So we have the layers. Um, we've got the class 158 from the main line. Uh, the class is 20 and class 37 from TBL, his valley line. Uh, the class 40, um, the class 66, and the Jubilee from Spirit Steam. Pass the fixed distance there as we come along to uh, Hadfield. Yeah, Chief Longshin, no, no, you uh, you watch the stream and you get rewarded by the guard scenario. It's, uh, it's how it works. <laughs> uh, but we want to showcase the route first and then we'll get into the good fun scenario stuff. over to Hadfield. So I guess from here from it would then go back to Glossop and then go back to Manchester. <clears throat> Apparently I'm logged into Kat's account. That's fine. She'll be fine with it. Getting her lots of silver medals. No <laughs> for a set. Right. So that was uh, the run. Uh, so we've done Manchester to um, Glossop and Glossop to Hadfield. Um, so you've seen the whole route now. Um, uh, trains will do the safety systems actually need to be isolated in the real caps? They don't interfere. I don't think so. I can't remember how that works exactly. I always disable safety systems when I leave a cab as part of leaving the cab. Uh, I don't know whether or not that is the case in this uh, train exactly. Right, so we're going we're gonna to dive into the, the 10 and 10. Um, and then after that, don't leave us just yet because we've got the guard mode coming up and we've got the gossip line photography kind of mode 
uh, and then we'll show off some of the nighttime scenery as well. So 10 and 10 is coming up next. I presume it's intentional there's no audio on the video. Probably so we can talk over it. <clears throat> we talked about the 323, so... I think there have been some the three, modifications two, compared to the 323 in BCC, but I can't remember exactly what they are. It's the PAS on the front is the same as on the one uh, on uh, BCC. There are a couple of variations in reality. There's a freight train there on the right. Although there is some sound that it might just be a, a little bit quiet. Let's read this. How's that? No, our microphone's on. Our on. So you can hear us. Then. <clears throat> Dinting Triangle, which we were just at. Yeah, it's leak time, Chief Lockshin. Oh, we were hoping no one would notice. <laughs> That's all fine, you can, you're can. you supposed to hear us, it's all good. Uh, we're just we're letting the, the screen do most of the talking. If you want to see any of the route we've just played, feel free to just scrub back in the stream, if you're on YouTube. Um, as we've just done a full full run of the full line uh, and now we're just doing a bit of an overview of the route before we jump into the gameplay scenarios collectibles there that's the bee posters Good old route map. More bees. They are just, they're just adorable, aren't they? They look so <laughs> silly and cute. They look really good. Posters. EMT 158 there, a troop cruising in the background. I don't think there are any six car timetable services because I don't think there are any in reality, uh, Best Dalek. Just to be clear, also, the 158 service is primarily AI. I think there's one playable, but that's only a depot move. Uh, bills, I can take that feedback to our art teams. Thank you for sharing. Where are you seeing it not in lowercase? I see where it's not in lowercase. All right, I'll get them to check that and make sure that's right. This is all, the, the license is delivery is approved by Northern, so I hope it's right. <laughs> I question chat all the time, Total Trash Seven.
It's meant to be capitalized after the government took over. It says it's like, oh, there you go. <clears throat> yeah, we have the, uh, the, the current license, not the older one. Quite a nice variety of sceneries. You've seen on the run um, that we just did, you get the, uh, because it's a, it's a 13 mile route, you get that transition fairly quickly um, from uh, urban to rural. Do you use Hardwick Depot? Yes, I believe so, bus driver GP. I'm sure I've seen that in the uh, in the scenarios. Services, sorry, services. In fact, I think it's used in scenarios as well. On guard scenario. We're going to show you this one properly in a minute. I think where you're playing the scenario itself, you've got to have your best impression of tickets, please, as you go through <laughs> the cabin. It's 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 it, it comes with the scenario. You you've got to do the impression, otherwise you're not really immersed. I love what the uh, your gameplay team came up with here. It's really cool. Mm. And this is really unique. We've not we've not done something like this before. Is that is that right? Man? No, I haven't done anything like this at all. Mm. Yeah, so with the photo one, you go to a particular location and then you have to, uh, it puts it in like a little photo overlay and then you can take a, uh, take an image. And then you drive on. I believe you can, go on, you, you can display them all at the end, is that, is that correct? It's actually not your images that get displayed due to technical limitations. With, with the goal, original goal was to be able to put all of your screenshots in the, uh, in the uh, station at the end, but um, unfortunately that didn't that didn't pan out for various technical reasons. So they haven't scrapped the idea, but uh, they're going to come back to it uh, in a future attempt and see if they can figure out how to make it work this time. What it does do is it does check to make sure that the um, the subject of the image um, is the one that um, was intended. So if if you take a picture or you know it's looking at the sky, it won't count. You actually have to take a picture of the subject. There we go. Layers, class 66 freight. <clears throat> Minions train 158. Freight. Trans Pennine Rail Tour. Steam. For those of you who like your fix of steam. Oh, 
I think we ran out. And I think that's it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, uh, that was the 10 and 10. Again, that's we've now showcased the entire run of the route and uh, and summarized all of the features that are included. So if you are joining us recently and you want to take a look at the route and some of the gameplay, feel free to scrub back. But right now, we are about to showcase the guard mode. Checking tickets, opening and closing doors, all the best bits. We're not going to show the entire um, uh, section of, of gameplay for the on guard scenario itself. We're just we're just going to show about ten minutes or so, so you get a taste, but not the full not the full experience. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you'll get the idea of it. Well, what I wanted to show you is what how the mechanic works and what's been what's been done for that one. So we're going to start off waiting for our train to arrive. Here at uh, Guide Bridge, I guess we are. Yep. This is our train just coming in? Yeah, this was a case of trying something different um, and it's actually a lot simpler to try something like this on a very small scale of one scenario than to put it into the entirety of service mode, a core feature of the game. So this gives us an opportunity to get your feedback on what, you know, did you find it fun? It sounds like it'd be a fun thing, but did you find it fun? Um, and um, is it something you play regularly? Um, and how would you think it could be changed and improved? You know, if we can have that sort of feedback, that'd be great. Right, your it duties as a guard mode include opening forward. the doors of the train, checking passenger tickets, and keeping passengers safe on the journey. We want to now put the guard key in. We've got to have some impressions here, Matt. You've got to role play. You've got to get into it. Stand on the platform and wait. Come on, get on. Ain't all day. Giving guards a bad rap. <laughs> is why I'm not a guard. Now ready to depart, so we close the doors, so you can uh, wait for the prompt to come up. Stand outside, check to make sure everything closes safely. Excellent. Now we can close our door. we can go that's it drivers echoed and away we go we've got to check tickets now before we do that it wants me to key out some guards leave the key in but the instructions say to key out so we'll key out I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and I'm going to key straight back in again excellent right okay so this is a passenger I need to check a ticket off Right, so guide bridge to Manchester Piccadilly, that's a valid ticket. On oh, 30th of October, today's date, this is a good ticket. Thank you. Tickets please. Thank you, tickets please. Oh, hello sir, uh, madam, can I get your ticket? Thank you. She doesn't want to give it. No. Uh, 30th of October, guide bridge to Ardwick, that's all good. Mm. Thank you very much, enjoy your journey. Moving on. Do -do -do -do. Another one here. Oh, and, uh, can I get your ticket, please? Thank you. Guy Bridge to Manchester, Piccadilly, 10th of October. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, you need to be uh, finding other transport. And what happened is at the next station, he'll get off. Banished. Banished from this train. <laughs> Banished. Get off my train. <laughs> Can I check your ticket, sir? Thank you. 30th of October, guide bridge to Manchester, Piccadilly. Mm. Thank you very much. Enjoy your trip. That's Run a good out. point, Matt. What happens if you select the wrong option? You don't get score. So you are getting score as uh, as you make good or bad decisions. Um, ah. So uh, I did a I did a run earlier on to uh, uh, to practice, uh, and um, the uh, I, I basically. I told it that uh, everybody was a good passenger and they were fine to stay on, and uh, I did badly. Yeah. It'd be good if there was if there was a passenger that was headphones in, leaning across, um, sleeping, 
kind of trying to ignore you. you, you you're shaking them to, hey, wake up, wake up, we've got to take a ticket. They're not responding. <laughs> Where was that troublemaker? It's him, wasn't it? Is he the troublemaker in the black suit? I better go back to the doors actually so I can open them. I love you. It is out on June 27th, so uh, Tuesday, just after the weekend, it'll be out. Stone down. Yeah, it's, it's only one scenario, but again, this is this is very unique and a new gameplay that. That we'd like to know it's your feedback on something as well. we'd like to do uh, more of but we want to know how much you enjoy it uh, you know because some things sound good on paper uh, and actually uh, uh, turn out to be not as good when you actually try and do it so we want to know actually how you, how you find it Let's get that open release the doors stand outside and watch the train see how the passengers are there he is look he got off yeah go get your ticket Try to, get, try to get on our ride for free. Uh, press lift Hampstead. No, it is not available in service mode. It's only available in this one scenario. It's been coded in this specific scenario. So we just want to um, get your feedback, really, on this, see how we can tune it. This is a really easy place for us to adjust it. Um, and then we can uh, think about how it go might go into the game fully later on if it's something people actually want. <laughs> what if you get no feedback? We'll get feedback. That's not a worry. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it, for, there'll be a lot of people that play the route, and we hear a lot of different opinions. So if you if you if you play it and you and you like it, or if you, whether you, you don't like it for whatever reason, but, let us know October, on the forums and let us know. Ashbury's, mm. thank you very much. Yeah, we we trust that we'll get lots of feedback. Thank you very much for your ticket. Thirtieth of October, Gorton to Ardwick. Thank you very much. Uh, your ticket, sir. Thank you. 19th. It's 19. the same person. No, it isn't the same person. But they've bad ticket. No, get off at the next station. Right. Uh, we've got another one here. Are you going to behave? 30th of October, Gordon Ardwick. Thank you very much. Who's next? Any more tickets? More tickets? Thank you very much. Can I check your ticket, please? Oh, I'm sorry, but you need to get off as well. This is not any good. Please go and get yourself a ticket at the station, then get back on another train. Go off my train. <laughs> yeah, uh, you right. got to give them the, the hard response. Uh, 17th of October. What is it with everybody from Gorton? Get mm. off. Right. It's giving Gorton a bad reputation, this lot. Back into my uh, my little den. Uh, drop this down. Have a sit. Yeah, I think I was seeing a lot of people really intrigued and interested about this mode, and I think that's the main thing. Is that on like on paper, like you said, Matt, and, and the idea of it is really interesting. It can be really fun. So just just give it a go. Let us know what you think. Um, it's a different and if there's experience. Ways of doing it better, we can. Yeah, it's a different experience. So it's kind of a like, uh, yeah, have a play of it and. Uh, is it something that you'd want to do more than once? Is it something you'd want to do for entire routes? Is it something you'd rather see on short things? Like, you know, because this is only a small journey, actually. Um, you know, so yeah, have a think about it, have a play with it, and uh, let's have your feedback. And just to confirm, Matt, the, the tickets that you that you go to approach, it's, it's just randomized each time, I would, I would assume. I'm not sure on that, I think so. They don't look like the same um, seats that I've been um, talking to in uh, in some of my other runs where I did it.
uh, Levy, the 10% off is a uh, loyalty discount on um, Xbox and Steam, and if you have PS Plus on PlayStation, uh, and if you're on Epic Games Store, it's just 10% uh, discount until July 31st for most platforms. It's a, it's very specific per platform. Check out our Gloss of Line coming soon article. There's no pre-order, so it's it's all based on the, uh, the loyalty and launch discounts there. So we have it fully listed out, um, and you can compare to your respective platform and the times. So this is another wrinkle. Um, we get to this and the passenger is too close, so it's asking me to uh, go and have a word. Uh, uh, thank you very much, and off he goes. So that's sort of, again, you are here for the safety of everybody. Back on the cab, let's get the train doors closed. Once we get moving, we'll finish this little run. All closed. Good, close my door. No, that's release. That's the right one. Good, good. And then let the driver know. That's it. And then it's just more tickets again. I think we'll press escape there and you can play the rest for yourself. But that's, um, there's some pretty cool stuff there to have a play with. Uh, see how you get on with it. Let us know in the forums um, what you'd like to see, what you think is good, what you think could be improved. Uh, and generally, whether you want to see more of it. And uh, we'll take that feedback on board. But uh, this is, it's actually, it's quite fun, um, I found. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what people think. I'm looking forward to seeing all the content creators put on crazy impressions and, and, and voices. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. Right. Um, right. So, oh, Matt, take it away. No, no, next up, we're going to have a look at Gossip Line, I think. Yes, the photography kind of photo mode that we uh, we showcased a little bit in a 10 and 10. Um, so yeah, this is this is another really fun, unique kind of gameplay scenario uh, where you're basically taking a photo of various trains along the line um, and kind of compiling them all at the end. So you're taking part in a nationwide competition for train drivers where drivers send in photos which are then shown on screens at stations across the country. It's Car Simulator, Cars and World! Apparently, it actually is. But we've got to go and get a brief in here somewhere. Let's go and talk to this dude. Hello. All right, here's the camera for the photo competition. Once you take a photo, you will like, upload it, and it'll be live on big screens and stations around the country. Cool, thank you. All right. Don't worry if you take bad photos, you can always take another. Okay. <clears throat> Me take a bad photo. Move to the marker. Oh, here we go. To get our first photo right here, look. Take a photo of the class 323. So as we stand over the marker, you, you'll see the, uh, the photo overlay appears. So and if you take a picture of the wrong thing, it just says, try taking another picture. Take a picture of the right thing. Okay. There you go. We got what it wanted. Right. Good photo, but we'll need a few more. Take photos at other stations and submit the best ones. Oh, hang on. I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to be driving the train from this end. Let's get in there and get get on with what we're paid to do, shall we? Doors. Uh, li uh, total trash. If you put the three two three in livery designer, it's a blank livery as always. Do a couple of stations and then we'll uh, now I'm looking forward to setting up a screenshot competition as well with some of the photos you can take with this mode. There's a lot of potential here for some fun. What extra training and competency has the driver done to be allowed to use a camera? All the appropriate safety tests has been have been passed, crazy killer, and uh, online training has been completed.
CBT's completed the night before and handed in on time. What will the mastery be? That's the mastery. It's a class 76 under, tar under tarpaulin at one of the stations in the sidings. Now a green light without a feather means we are not going to Glossop, we are going to Manchester. So how does, uh, is it restricted to specific sh uh, like spots where you stand? I know you said you had to look at the, the subject train and locomotive yeah you have to be standing at the, uh, the 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 highlighted point and looking at the subject as well when you stand at the point is when the kind of the uh, the photo modi type thing um in the scenario editor gets uh, done it's not actually saving the screenshots so you may want to make your own screenshot at that point if you want to share the screenshot Here we go, we're doing a photo now. So we're gonna to head to the marker and get ready to take our shot. Oh, we're taking a picture of that. If I stop the vigilance device by popping the reverser into neutral. Whiskey two shots. Uh, it would be nice to get the photos added to screenshots as well. But I suppose if you wanted to replay the scenario, um, they would be the same kind of same angle. So I suppose the, the the more advanced thing to do would be to go over to the camera spot and take your own screenshots, um, even using the external camera views, uh, and make it different each time if you want as well. If I kind of unique, want to do more those. with this this yeah this idea of taking um, screenshots and having them then automatically shared across routes with with like dynamic billboards or something like that i really like that idea of seeing a selection of screenshots just you know magically appearing on everybody's routes um there's some logistics to solve there um but um Excellent. i think that'd be uh, quite fun 1.7 miles to broad bottom we'll do one more at broad bottom and then we'll finish I think this is a complete run actually into Manchester because Manchester is where the uh, uh, yeah, this is going all the way to Manchester So you take a ride in a guy's car and then take a pic and then steal a train and do a service taking more photos? That's exactly it. I mean, doesn't that sound incredible? <laughs> that might be a different game. Yeah, it might be a different game, yeah. Is, that, is this the first time we've ever been in a car? No, I suppose in the Holiday Express we had the Jeep. Uh, Carson World slowly grows. So we go about 800 yards until we're in Broadbottom, 
And then we're going to look at a little bit of nighttime scenery as well, just to showcase that, as we usually do um, to wrap up the stream. So if you've recently joined us, maybe in the last half hour or 10 minutes or even a couple seconds, uh, and you want to see some more Glossip, then um, feel free to scrub back through the video on YouTube. And uh, if you wait until after the stream, it will be uploaded onto our channels as well. So you can catch all the content. You don't need to worry about missing any of it. Um, but yes, after we've done our last little photo shoot here at Broadbottom, we're going to take a look at what it looks in the dark. Release date is June 27th. Uh, same for all platforms, so Xbox included, Steam, PlayStation, Epic Game Store, the usual places. Doors sorted. One more of the uh, one of these pictures, and then we'll move on. We got asked to walk around Piccadilly. I wonder, Matt, if we if we start the nighttime scenario at Piccadilly, we kind of do two two birds, one stone. Yeah, I can do. It. All right, so let's lock the doors. Nope, it doesn't want another picture. Okay, fine. So that's that's the you've seen this. We've taken a couple of pictures now. You get the idea of how the mode works, um, and uh, yes, it's um, it's a bit different. It's, it was meant to make a drive um, a little bit more um, um, than the normal um, straight A to B run, and um, yes, I know it's got to be done. I've just been okay. told off in the uh, in the chat for, uh, for for not doing that. So. While well, we're here, then. <clears throat> yeah, I think with these unique kind of gameplay scenarios, it's, it's just new content and it's just new ideas that we're trying. Um, they're both just one scenario each, so if it's not your thing, that's totally fine. But if you're enjoying it, then please let us know. Um, because that's what we're here to really discover and here to offer just a, a unique and a new experience, really. Yeah, totally. Yeah, looking at, you know, what can what what is an interesting thing to do in the world of trains other than you know the obvious a train spotting update or scenario I suppose right let's let's get into some nighttime scenery right uh, trains let's uh, choose a route gloss up timetable three two three and we'll pick something in the evening manchester this is part one yeah we'll do that one 11 o'clock little cloud again we'll go custom weather actually so that we don't have the fog descending suddenly you want to clean the wc scenario red leader Interesting. <laughs> it sounds so thrilling <laughs> this is just a, just a, just your way of saying i want access to the wc please where's the toilet why can't i get in the toilet I've got to get in there, you see, because it's cleaning. Is this the DLC with the train spotting feature? Well, we've just shown uh, the photo mode. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, I see you are. Just scrub back a few minutes and you can see us taking some photos of the trains. Because um, I believe that is uh, it's the train spotting that you, you, you're referencing. So here is Manchester Piccadilly. It's it's gone bedtime, so it's all dark. Again, this this place is huge. Now I'm almost getting lost just thinking about where we're walking. The line down Toxford Road, I think, there, isn't it? Walk 
wander over here, see what there is here. Oh, I see. Same platform. Main concourse. A cinema screen up there or something more interesting, wouldn't you? Oh, we've walked a few miles. Train. He's on. Good. Let's get the doors open. Let's fly around a bit so we can see a bit more. Uh, rare, on a console, you need to use the Operation Shift, which is um, on, con on Xbox, is press and hold X. On a PlayStation, it's press and hold the thing in the same place as the X on an Xbox. I can't remember what that is. Is that uh, square? I think it's a square. You press and hold that, and then what you do is you press the, the horn button again on, uh, at the same time. And that'll give you the other shift. So pressing the horn normally, you get that. Pressing it with the shift key, you get that one. I've just been asked, Hentis, uh, does Xbox currently have a sale? It does, the Xbox Super Mega Sale. Um, I won't talk about it too much here, but if you want to check it out, we have our sale list in the forums, um, and you can you can find a link for it there. So I, uh, if you're interested in that, check out the forums, go to the uh, Dovetail Live article discussion tab, and we have like a pinned sales tab there where you can find more information on it. Topic of slightly off topic, um, someone earlier asked about the beta um, uh, uh, requests to join, um, uh, and if there've been any news. So there's nothing, nothing news to report particularly, but um, we've done a first pass over the list now. Finally, there's a lot of people on that list, um, and now what I need to do is look at the first pass we've made and make sure it's a nice even spread. There's no point having a bunch of UK Steam player, UK PC players. What we need actually is 
um, a, a mix across console and the other territories as well, including North America. And there weren't a lot of you, a lot of you from North America um, join, uh, requesting to join as well. So it's um, yeah, I want to make sure we've got a nice spread so that we're adding um, adding good mix to the team rather than have overloading in one area, uh, and then hopefully um, shortly we'll be able to get the uh, get feedback out. And I think we're pretty much rolling to a stop here um, with the preview stream. I think we've, 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 we've summarized over the two gameplay scenarios, showed a full run of the route. Um, we've had the 10 and 10. I think we've covered all bases, Matt. I think we've pretty much covered everything there is to see, yeah. Or at least examples of the things to see so that you can see the rest of yourself. But it's a fun route to drive, as I say. It's uh, it doesn't take you know a long time to get from end to end, so you'd be more likely to do multiple runs, uh, and and sort of have that uh, more of that experience of sort of changing ends and doing another one and changing ends and doing another one, uh, which is quite fun. Um, and then obviously you've got the scenarios with some new and interesting fun stuff to do as well. So uh, yeah, do let us have your feedback on what you see in the scenarios. Waterworks scenario has got something interesting going on as well, which I think you'll enjoy. Um, so um, yeah, enjoy it and let us know what you think when you, uh, when you pick it up. And I think with that, let's, uh, yeah, let's come back to the cameras. Thank you all for joining us. That's been the Glossop Line Manchester to Hadfield and Glossop preview stream. I think we've had a good time, Matt. I think we've had a, a lovely stream. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. This is, uh, like I said, it's a uh, a fun join, uh, a fun ride to um, uh, to drive, route to drive, um, and uh, it fits more with my sort of this and Cathcart Circle fit more with my kind of the time I've got to drive as well um, in the game rather than the big long um, journeys. Uh, because and I, I like the fact that I feel like I can do multiple things rather than sort of feeling it. I could get to the end of one run and sort of taking a deep breath and going, right. Now I've got to get back to something else or, you know, some sleep or. <laughs> um, but yep, uh, admin hat back on loyalty discount um, when it releases, which is on June 27th. If you're looking for some more gameplay before then, we actually have some ambassador videos coming out on the 26th. So you will be able to see more gameplay before the route comes out, which is always fantastic. Um, but be sure to check out the discounts that will happen over the launch period. They'll only be there for a few days. Um, please check out our Glossop line coming soon on school. You can find all the info for Xbox, PlayStation, Epic Games, and Steam, depending on which platform you're on. But that'll do us. If you missed us, if you happen to just join us now, scrub back through the video. It'll be live on our YouTube channel for you to watch. Um, and like I said, there'll be more content coming soon before the release on June 27th anyway. So that's it. That's enough. Uh, I think that, that'll do us for the stream. I think we've had a lovely one. And thank you all for joining us. So on that end, uh, we'll call it there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.